see that as well. Thanks so much for that report. So let's take a look at the Charlotte starting line. Washington and Zeller are in the middle. Terry Rozier is out there with ball, and it's Bridges in at the three. And for the Kings, Fox and Bogdanovich pair up at the one and the two. Bialica is out there with Harrison Barnes, and it's Bagley in at the center. Now, here's Rozier. Now, here's Ball. A shake. And it's good on the layup. And that's what the pump fake's there for. Get your man off his feet and drive right around it. Ball against Fox. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. It goes on Cody Zeller. And getting to the free throw line more and more. G.A. awfully tough to stay in front of De'Aaron Fox. I mean, he's just got to knock him down, though. I mean, a free throw percentage, I think he can and will improve upon. And De'Aaron Fox, a natural right-hander, but he plays lefty. And he's similar to Mike Cum. Guys like that more amphibious I'm just joking more ambidextrous that they can use either hand at a high level now here's Rogier that's the Washington and here is Zeller another shot Barnes grabs the miss nobody even close to him and he can't believe he doesn't knock it down Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Fires from 18. They get it back. A nice shot by Zeller. Okay, he's putting that seven-foot frame to good use. I mean, Zeller pounding the glass. And here's Fox. He'll bring it up for the Sacramento Kings. Just around a minute and a half into the first quarter. And that one drops. He's considered one of the quickest guys in the game. Fox, he really hurts defenses on these takes. Ball against Fox. Ball, the pass to Bridges. Over Barnes. Tries again. And deep, Zeller drops it in. Look, he has a good feel for the painted area. Zeller, never in a rush. Very deliberate with his moves. Barnes can't get it to go. I don't think the D does good enough here, but something causes the miss. Ball, no good. Ball's gone one of three from the field here. Here's Bogdanovich. And Rogier pulls it down. The Hornets have gotten three of eight shots to fall for them here in the first quarter. Bridges shot, good. We've seen Bridges put work into that shot, turning this mid-range attempt into a simple shot. The Kings trail by four. Here's Fox. Score the basket, his second of two attempts. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. Yeah, it's the attack mindset. I mean, that helped him prevail right there. Sometimes you just got to go with your gut. Now, here's Rogier. Nice pass in here by Charlotte. Hands it from downtown. Uh, showing off some surprising range there. Rozier is safe to say the defense will live with him making this. Bogdanovich finds Bagley. No good. I love to see the defense exhibit some passion and uh, protect the rim right there. And it's ball in the corner. Unloads. Sacramento grabs the miss. This quarter has been hit or miss for him. Mostly miss. Now, here's Fox. Tight defense on him. Back to Belyitsa. The feed now to Fox. Zeller grabs the board. Zeller's got four rebounds in this game. Here's Washington, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Well, I like that Washington isn't afraid to work for it. I mean, clashes with the defender, but still gets a shot off. And the first one drops. Greg, maybe not the tallest big in the league, but Washington's reach is the great equalizer. He stands only 6'7", but that 7'2 wingspan 
it allows them to play big, snatch rebounds in traffic, and make contested shots in the paint. I think the young fella's got a bright future. And it's a completely new group on the floor for the Kings. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you had to bring much faster help than that. Yeah, I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Now, here is Halliburton. Now, Holmes. It's rebounded by Charlotte. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. First free throw is good. You know, Greg, you'd probably know as well as anyone, what was it like going up against the Bulls in the ninth? You know, it's weird to say, but in a lot of ways, they were, we were a lot like they were. Uh, Hall of Fame talent at the coach, a defensive-minded team, but the one difference was, you know, the Bulls had that guy that wore that number 23. I think I'd say that might have been the one difference. This is his first free throw of the game. That's good from Halbert. He's perfect from the line this time. 127 left here in the opening quarter. Graham surveying the floor. That shot off, and the Kings going the other way now. Joseph dishes to Park. Graham against Teal. Shoots over Graham. Here's Halliburton. Great D that time from Batum. Just doing the job on the back door. And not the guy you want to send to the line. He has been automatic. The Hornets have been solid at the line so far. Four for four. And they were 75% from the line a season ago. And doing a good job getting to the line and capitalizing. Now, here is Halliburton. To the inside, Parker, and the dunk by Parker. I love seeing this kind of aggressiveness from Parker. Outstanding to flush it home with force. Hornets leading by seven. Graham kicks to Zeller. Graham against Hole. Graham, the pass to Zeller. Here's Washington. Three-pointer, Graham. Rebounded by Holmes. The Kings shooting 36% in this first quarter, trying to get their bearings. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. And here's Halliburton to the middle. And the dunk by Parker. Perfect use of the pick and roll. Love how decisive Parker is in these sets. Graham from outside. Good on the three-point shot. That's a two from Heel. He has been a great addition. Thanks for that report. So let's take a look at the Boston Celtics starting lineup. Round the small four with Tatum holding down the four spot. Walker and Smart, the guards. And it's Tice in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for Sacramento. Fox and Bogdanovich pair up at the one and the two. Harrison Barnes is out there with Bialitz, and it's Bagley in at center, locking down the middle. Now, here's Tice. Back to Brown. The Celtics working the ball around now. Smart misses. And not only is Smart one of the best defenders in the league, Greg, he's also one of the most versatile players in the NBA. Yeah, when you talk about players who can guard one through five, it's usually referring to Kawhi, PG-13, or Giannis. But Smart at 6'4 has the strength, the anticipation, and the toughness to hold his own against anyone. It's remarkable. And the dunk by Tatum. A tremendous find there by Kemba. He draws loads of attention, opens the court up for his teammates. Pass to Bagley, an emphatic LU jam. You know, Bagley can really get up and extend. Here's Walker. About one minute into the first quarter. 
Pass to Tice. Great D that time from Bagley. And, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that position. Continues to try to work to find some consistency, does Harrison Barnes, and right there knocking at the defense's door. Well, Harrison Barnes at 6'8", 225, has played some power forward. Greg, do you like him there or at his more natural small forward position? I think in today's game, Kevin, having the strength he does allows him to kind of hold his own. You know, you don't see a lot of four men playing a lot of post up in today's game. He's still got to be able to play in space and I think creates matchup nightmares for the opponent. Barnes hits them both. Such a great well-rounded NBA career experience Harrison Barnes has had. From being the main guy on the team to a role player on a championship caliber one. He's always willing to accept his role and provide solid leadership. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Bogdanovich inside, guarded by Smart. Fox passes to Bialica. The shot, no good. And the Celtics going the other way now. Here's Tatum. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. Kings have gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Tatum. A split second late, but almost came up with a steal there. Real close, and I'm sure next time you might time that a little bit better and get a hand on it. Here in the first quarter with about two minutes gone by. Now, smart. Oh, Tatum in position. And we all know Walker can score, but he's also terrific at finding his teammates. And here is Fox. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And to Aaron Fox, one of those hyper-athletic point guards, but still more slight of build than a Westbrook or in their primes, John Wall, Derrick Rose. Do you think he needs to get stronger? Well, I think that's a great question, and you could take it two ways. Yes, physically, and yes, mentally. And he's getting a ton of minutes in the early part of his career, and De'Aaron Fox is learning how to be a better leader. So the answer, does he need to get stronger? He is. Here's Brown, and a good offensive board, and he gets the bucket. And Brown is just a physical beast, especially inside where he gets whatever he wants. Fox passes the Bialyts. It's stolen by Tice. And here comes Brown, leading the fast break. Smart misses. The Kings trail by three. And there's Barnes. That's good on the assist by Fox. And Barnes knows in this offense he's got to get out on the break that time. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. Loud pass to Begley. Hammers the alley-oop through. Size and touch is one thing, but you add that mobility that Bagley has. That's a great job in the pick and roll. It's Walker with the ball, bringing it up for the Boston Celtics. Here's Tice. Brown trying to free himself up. And now Sacramento on the break. Barnes got the ball, and it's blocked by Brown. The kick out to Fox. Fox is double. And Aaron Fox gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. And early in the game, a defensive play like that goes a long way, establishing the attitude you want. And some changes here for the Kings. Parker's checked in for Bialyts. Heald comes in for Bogdan Bogdanovich. And Halliburton subbed in for Fox. And then for Boston. Williams, he's checked in for Daniel Tice. Williams comes in for Jason Tatum. And Shemi Ojale's subbed in for Marcus Smart. Now, here is Halliburton. Throws it up high and finished off by Bagley. Oh, such a beautiful pass to set that one up. Yeah, the pass might have been pretty, but the finish was angry. <laughs> Here's Walker. 
There's the three. Rebound by the Kings. Bagley's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And it's Halliburton missing. Austin's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. That's a two-pointer from Walker. Count it. His second make in four attempts. And Greg, you play with some big personalities. Talk about the best way to manage egos and conflicts in the locker room. That's a, a very interesting, uh, interesting topic. No doubt about it. You know, Kev, first thing you learn from middle school on, your team is your family. And let's face it, all families have spats, uh, and so do teams. You just learn to never personalize those things never leave any stone unturned like don't let things fester who the best who the best out here i don't give a fuck and i don't fucking care bring it back to the flow give a dab to your bro cause the party's so damn fishy